A Valley family is in mourning after a stranger attacks a beloved grandfather out of nowhere. Sadly, Juanito Falcon passing away from his injuries. And tonight, Asian Americans fear that this case could be another in a string of violent attacks across America. Good evening, everyone. I'm Kariba Devine. And I'm Tramai in tonight for Mark Curtis. Team 12's Nyella Charles joins us live from Phoenix near Christown with details in this case. Nyella? Well, Caribe Tram, Juanito's family says he was here near the KFC on his morning walk on 19th Avenue and Bethany Home Road when seemingly out of nowhere, a man came up to him, punched him, then drove off. This, as several studies are showing criminals have been targeting Asians since the start of the pandemic. Asian pieces. From California to San Francisco, and a stranger randomly pushing an 84-year-old Thai immigrant walking in his neighborhood. Incidents many feel are fueled by hate. Now here in Phoenix, similar questions as Juanito Falcon's family lays him to rest after a seemingly random attack at this KFC. The police report says a man came up to the 74-year-old grandpa while in the parking lot, punched him, then drove off. Juanito died days later. His daughter telling 12 News, quote, I have a lot of questions. Nobody should experience what happened to my father. Police arresting Marcus Williams. And like, this could have been like an uncle or like it could have been anyone, like one of my family members. Susan Wong is a sophomore at ASU. She says it feels like Asians have a target on their back since the start of the pandemic. That's when people, including former President Trump, started associating the coronavirus with Asian Americans. It feels like someone is attacking you for not being white or not being what they are. Or Phoenix PD telling 12 News, as of now, there are no indications to support this being a hate crime. If information is discovered, that will be part of the investigation. Arizona doesn't have a hate crime law, but it does allow for an aggravated charge if racism is a factor. But attorney Benjamin Taylor says that can be hard to prove legally if an attacker doesn't use a racial slur. A person would have to admit that they're racist, that they attacked a person based on racial issues. But still these acts against Asian Americans leave them demanding respect. Treat everyone fairly. Everyone should be treated with respect. The suspect in this Marcus Williams is scheduled to have his first court appearance tomorrow morning. He's facing a murder charge. Police say so far they don't have a motive. We're live in Phoenix. Nyla Charles, 12 News.